the beautiful way that he delivers in service and the wonderful way in which he engages the congregation, you know, sharing in that good news and having everybody equally participate and contribute. It's a beautiful thing. I love that about that church. And then the discussion, the freedom to speak and share. Um, I'm very proud to visit Canada with one of my great great grandmother, Mr. Terry Kinyuki. <laughs> Thank you. Programs we've had, like an out-of-school care program that we've had in the basement, and they also have access to the upstairs as well. It's been around for over 25 years, and so we've um, enjoyed them as one of our chief tenants. Barry has a variety of programs and services. He provides 12-step uh, programs. There's AA, Al-Anon, uh, Children of Alcoholics, uh, Post-Traumatic Stress Disorder, and they have a talking circle. All the people in the neighborhood come at one point or other. A lot of the folks from downtown, they're because it's a native church. They're aware that we're here. We try to provide a weekly lunch after our service, and people aren't obliged to come to the service to join us for lunch, simply because we're encouraging people to sit down and talk to one another, although that's not mandatory either. Um, sometimes it's, it's, over, it's over with as soon as people can gobble down a bowl of soup and, and or a full course meal. Well, a mission and service grant to the Longhouse Ministry has always been important. Definitely grateful for the funds received because as we say in our yearly application for that, our yearly um, grant submission, we probably couldn't exist without it, certainly not for very long. Ooh.